hey my friend so you have a master class let's like I've been talking the last few days about a master class I'm putting together so if you want to be putting a master class you need people to get to your master class right you got to get people in there and of course you could spend money you can do ads but let's talk about the top five ways that you can get people to your master class for free what are the ways that you need to be what are the activities you need to be doing how can you get people to your master class without spending any money on ads that's maybe a topic for another day but for now we're going to cover the top five ways that you can get people to your master class for free right so let's get to it in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets yeah so if you're gonna have a master class you need people to go in you need to have people in it right because the whole point of a master class is to teach people something that they're going to be that they're going to be willing to pay for but getting people to pay for something is not always easy so what are the five ways or it's you know not there's there's lots of other ways but what are the top five ways that you can do that for free without paying any money on ads uh, and I'm gonna we're gonna talk about Facebook in particular but you can certainly ap adapt that to other social media plat platforms and other ways of communication but let's talk about that first if you're listening to the audio of this make sure you go check out the video at cis294.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen all right let's get right to it and let's go to Facebook so first <clears throat> so the first way uh to get people to your master class you know the main the main I guess the main goal that you have is that you want people to know about your master class right so you want them to know about it so how do you get people to know about your master class without you sounding spammy and without you trying to you know just get people into your master class so what is it what is it that I'm talking about I'm talking about posting tips on the topic so whatever your master class is about you want to be letting people know that you're you know an expert on that topic right so for me it would be like if I'm doing a master class on becoming a while well, doing a perfect webinar you while well, doing a webinar using the perfect webinar uh, strategy or framework to finally get sales the webinar that con converts into sales doing it the right way what is let, let me just uh, I I I do have uh let me see over here I've got that let's go back to here so there is I have some notes from the, the other episode so my uh, one thing is how to make your first sales here let's put it over here so how to make your first sales with a webinar without stressing about stressing out about if you're doing it right now I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to do because it's all it's about the perfect webinar framework too I want um, I'm still thinking it through but the point is that whatever it is that you decide that that has to be decided before you start really using that as the way to get people to know about your your webinar right so you got to have you got to have your capture page you got to have your your funnel you got to have maybe a freebie you got to have all these things available before you start really uh, getting people to it right you can't get somebody to your mastermind if you don't have the mastermind ready or a master class I should say um and by the way this is a not one of the top five that I'm talking about but it is definitely a, a good way to do it as well is doing masterminds on the topic getting people together and just kind of talk about the topic so that people get to to see that you kind of know what you're talking about right but let's just talk about the topics right so if you have topics and uh, you can you can um post about that right so for example in my case it's the perfect webinar the 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 three stories I'm actually listening to Russell Brunson talking about the different uh the different 
perspectives of the perfect webinar because he started talking about that a long long time ago right it was actually in his original dot com secrets book I don't know if it's in the last the newest version I I'm gonna have to listen to it again but just just uh, the last few days I've been listening to the original dot com secrets book and he talks about the perfect webinar in there too uh with a different kind of a less less details I guess I should say then the actual perfect webinar script that you can buy at, at perfect webinar masters uh, perfect webinar secrets uh, dot com which you can get um to to get the actual perfect webinar script but let's just say right now I'm going to post a post on the topic right so let's just uh let's just kind of think think about something right now um the secret is to break their false beliefs 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 not not to try to sell them on your thing if you try to sell them on your thing they will just see you as a sales see it as a sales pitch see it as a sales pitch pitch by breaking their limiting beliefs beliefs whoops beliefs they will make the decision decision to buy on their own which do you prefer selling convincing convincing them to whoops to buy or breaking their false beliefs right well, I, I beliefs so there so this this would be this would be a post about the topic the perfect webinar right one of the things that is taught in the perfect webinar is about the false beliefs and how to how to break those and what it means to break them so I'm just posting about that I'm just po going to post that right now and that becomes a post that hopefully people will see but that's there's more to it right you can't just by the way you can't just post and expect people to see it there's other things that got to do and uh, that's the next step so tip number one is post on the topic right post on the topic let's actually go in here and uh, whoops wrong one let's go back to there now I'm going to create a new text file here and I'm going to call it notes so now let's open that up and let's go in here so so top five actually I think I have it in my buffer do I yes so number one so post tips on your topic now the reason the reason why the reason why this is very important is because you want people to see that you want people to see you as an expert on your topic if you're if you're never posting about your topic and then all of a sudden you try to sell a master class nobody's gonna want to buy it because they're gonna be like well that how, that person doesn't know what they're talking about now if you can there are ways to get them to believe that you know what you're talking about even if you're not posting but that's that's not what we want to do we want to have people already think you're the expert when they're when your master class starts right so that's the first one number two is engage in other other groups right so in the groups that talk about your topic the people that are you know interested in your topic it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a group on say for me for me it could be about webinars like webinar jam for example or in in a go to webinar or zoom webinars other webinar groups right people are wanting to make do webinars so it's engage in there so if I go for example I actually just just now as I'm telling you this I'm actually realizing you know what I should actually go because I because <laughs> I actually whoops sorry because I actually never looked up zoom uh, webinars zoom webinar oops with a w that probably will work better but let's look that up zoom webinar 
and then uh, let's go into groups 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 and see if there's any uh, webinar groups there's mine huh. become a perfect webinar master webinar funnels formula uh webinar hacks for entrepreneurs 8k members so that might be a group that would be good to go into so that's definitely one thing right free webinars group uh, do I just join like this yeah there you go join like this I guess it'll ask me questions as me continue uh 67k whoops okay there you go I gotta answer questions welcome to one and a half where to get it to na, na, na. I'm big with her if you had to choose a topic for your next webinar would it be uh the perfect webinar framework actually it's going to be I'm going to put that in this in this here yeah let's do that just to see what let's take this and post that in there <clears throat> what is your best email address okay that's my email everybody asks that I, I don't bother with that be, in my group because I I don't want to have to scale there right would we like to receive updates regarding sure why not there you go okay so that's another a group there there I'm surprised there's not a zoom webinar right a zoom webinar because there is a webinar jam right webinar jam which I am part of webinar funnel formula this is uh somebody let's just join that group too let's see what happens here uh there's Kartra webinar uh, this group is only for people who are webinar funnel formula owners oh I'm not what is that uh sorry didn't where, where can I get that Who's out here? so let's just do that what email address what name that's kind of interesting that they they don't even tell you where it is right what is the webinar formula for funnel formula let's see let's just do that okay I don't even know what that is so we'll find out if they answer me uh what else is there whiteboard webinar challenge free seminars training how to workshop seminar updates webinar seminars workshop Katra Kartra webinar jam studio ever webinar unofficial webinar jam studio oh, let's let's go in there let's go in there so okay so that I mean obviously that's one of the things you got to be part of these groups right if I look at these groups that have seven posts a day advertise announcements free webinar demo classes oh, interesting advertise free demo class of webinars sold out webinars webinar power anyway so you got to be in groups okay let's just go now if I'm in groups I go to the groups here and I just uh, I just go into the groups that have to do with webinars if I go through here there's a um, click funnels is a group but there's a, there's other course funnels right I you got to engage in those groups right so for me this uh, message uh, you just got to engage right what is a message for your for 2021 you want to leave for a loved one a message I'm not sure Merry Christmas <clears throat> can't be there have you ever been seen a bride that waited for at the altar with no sign of her bride coming that must be hard eh no I've never okay uh but anyways like I said you go through these uh webinar let's uh, search for groups webinar let's go back to this because <coughs> webinar marketing I'm in that group so I just go in there I just go in the group and I look at what's going on and I comment on things now the reason why you do that there's a couple of reasons first people after a while people will start to recognize your name there and you know, start to see who you are what you're about and um and and you know they're going to start to see now you got to be you got to be you got to you got to be smart about where you engage because some of the groups are like spam groups like this webinar marketing group I'm not really sure <clears throat> uh, webinarcon.com oh okay I don't even know about this this thing I uh, haven't been in there but you can see that there's posts there all sorts of different posts uh head head of partnerships who could set up several webinars a month with new and existing affiliates hmm. another question do you do webinar marketing for clients if is yes how do you how do you charge 
Hmm. Dirt farm leads and PMs. Oh, I don't. No. That would be interesting to do. <coughs> uh, introductions. Uh, start of your organized critical, laying of the foundation. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my name is, and uh, you killed my father, prepare to die. So he's polite, he gave his name, he's relevant, and he manages the expectations. So that's <laughs> that's actually that's in the isn't that in the Princess Bride, I think, the movie, right? But anyways, um love that intro. <laughs> and you know, so you engage, just you know, it's not it's not it's not about trying to catch people and trying to get leads and trying to do this. It's just about getting people to know who you are. And also it's about the platform noticing that you're actually engaging and that's how by you engaging on the platform whether it's Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or Instagram whatever the platform is even YouTube right if you're engaging if you're doing on the platform what the platform wants you to do they're going to reward you by showing your your stuff to other people right so on Facebook that means sharing your post in other people's news feeds or your friends news feeds right or even your followers news feeds if you have if you have people following you that aren't necessarily your friends right so that's uh that's one of the things that's important to engage and doing it in other groups is important because that's a lot and and uh, this is related to Facebook I guess or maybe LinkedIn uh other platforms don't have groups but or uh, yeah that's right other well there, I guess Twitter has a, a list thing I'm not sure I've, I don't use Twitter that much but so there's something that's similar to groups I guess or maybe I'm wrong but anyways I know Facebook and LinkedIn have groups and engaging in groups is is important because the groups are a congregation of people interested in whatever it is you have right it has to be groups that are related to what you're going to be trying to sell right what your master class is going to be about right so that's number two right number two is engaging in group I know it seems simple and silly and not uh not the not maybe something obvious but it is important to do number three is create your own group create your own group you gotta have a group that people can find either by search or by by so because you want to be able to send people or invite people to the, that group too right after they after you've been engaging and you're creating content and people start to wonder uh what you're about they should be able to find your group now you could change and actually that's one thing I should probably do you could set your profile up uh to uh let's just uh, go uh can I no I can't do that here uh let me see I could change my profile picture some some people have a profile picture that shows or a cover photo right that shows a group they're part of right and uh, I don't know if I should do that because my my um Facebook is a very it's more of a personal thing maybe I could do it in uh, LinkedIn as a because LinkedIn is more of a business thing so I could do that there so changing your profile or your cover uh cover and I wouldn't recommend your profile picture okay profile picture should be of you that's an, an important thing but if you want to have people find your group without you having to you know message them or comment or or connect with them then you could use your um cover photo for that if you wanted so you know you can add a little image on there of your group picture maybe in the in the like in here in the description right I don't have a description here right obviously I wouldn't do that with this picture this is my daughter's uh but if if I had a picture here that was about my group then I could put in here go join the group with the link to it right <clears throat> and that's one of the, one of the things some people do but you have to have your group so if I go to groups I created a group called become a perfect webinar master right now that's about webinars and that's the master class I'm going to be doing is about that so in here I kind of post questions it's a small group still I only 20 some members I think but it's growing and obviously if you want to join this group definitely go find become a perfect webinar master go go join the group 32 members now but you know go ahead and find the group and go join it and I'm I'm hoping that you can engage in the group too go ahead and post post questions post post your successes 
you know what is it that you're accomplishing uh and what is what have you learned about the perfect webinar you know this is <laughs> this is a picture of me in front of my computer screen right there with the in the background was uh, the video from Russell Brunson the perfect webinar video it just happened to pause on a <laughs> on a picture on his face doing that and I just thought it would be funny for me to do the same thing right so that's kind of what I did there and that's the the perfect webinar um, group that I have become a perfect webinar master become a perfect webinar master you can become a master of the perfect webinar framework right so <clears throat> that's what this is all about all right so that's a group you got to create a group where you can have people join your your topic and maybe engage and hopefully you know people aren't aren't engaging with me yet because I'm probably not active enough on Facebook myself because you know especially right now it's a holiday so I don't spend as much time and but that's kind of what that's that's number number three right number three is create a group and of course you want to become posting in that group uh right and posting in that group and going into um, um this the topic right you got to be posting in the group so I can actually take my post let's do that let's go to my post that I just did right now and I'm going to take this I'm going to copy all this and I'm going to put that in the group so where's my group group right here so I'm actually going to post in the group and see hopefully somebody's going to comment on this I'm just going to post that there we go there you go <clears throat> so there's the there so posting in the group now you obviously you want to be trying to be unique in the group like I, I actually shared one of my videos here because it had to do with master class that's kind of what I'm going to be doing is perfect webinar so I did share that video in there you can do these things you can do things like that posting on here is is about asking questions about getting engagement it's not easy to do but the thing you have to remember is that nobody is even going to see your posts in their timelines if you're not engaging on on other on other people's posts on on the platform in other groups by not engaging you're basically telling Facebook that they don't need to share your stuff so that's why you have to be engaging all right so that's number three number three so again like I said number one is post tips on your topic it's got to be you got to be posting tips on your topic by the way you can't be just doing that um yeah maybe I should clarify that because when you're posting on Facebook Facebook wants you to be a person so if you're just posting about your topic then that doesn't spell you know a person it spells a sales salesman or somebody who's trying to pitch something right so you got to make sure you're posting other things too right pictures of your family uh pictures of things you're doing uh post uh, about other stuff you know things like that right engage in other groups create your own group number four is uh be consistent now that's that doesn't seem like a real thing but it's super important if you're if you're posting content on Facebook if you're engaging in other groups and you're and, and create your group obviously there's only one uh, one time but posting in your group maybe right is so those three things you have to do regularly and it doesn't mean you got to spend hours a day it means you got to do it in a consistent manner so if you're if you're taking five minutes a day just if you're taking five minutes then do it every day five minutes try to be consistent try to have the same schedule try to do as to do less but more regularly don't 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 kill yourself trying to spend two hours on Facebook one day and then the next day don't do it in anything the next day five minutes the next day four hours like don't do that that's not going to work good you got to be consistent consistent with the activity that you're on there it doesn't have to be hours it can be just five ten minutes a day that's that's good enough as long as you're doing it consistently Facebook will see you as being a person who's consistent who should get rewarded by they're going to reward you by sharing your stuff right that's kind of how it works and if you're not sharing your stuff <laughs> if you're not being consistent then you, then you know you're not gonna they're not going to show your stuff they're going to be like oh well this person spent you know two hours today but this the, this is the first time they've been on Facebook for a week right so that's that's not going to work because they they don't go by how much time they go by how consistent you are that's actually one of the 
things in the algorithms and all social media platforms pretty much the same thing it's all about being consistent right being consistent so and I and that's kind of what I do right in the morning I spend five to 20 minutes uh on on the different platforms I try to spend I actually try to spend more time on Facebook because that's the platform that seems to be the most uh efficient in what I'm doing uh but I mean depending on your platform I could probably I could probably focus on LinkedIn right and get results there but I'm not focusing on LinkedIn so I'm not getting results there right I'm getting results in Facebook mostly because I'm consistent on Facebook right if I look at the number of notifications I get <laughs> right I mean it's it's crazy right I get the, all these notifications people commenting on things people people posting people replying I mean look uh, like uh, there's uh, there's no comments right now that to w worth looking at but anyways for I, mean, I just mean for this particular recording I'm doing right now right so that's number four is be consistent you got to be consistent you got to be consistent so let's uh, actually add uh, post topics so on your profile in your whoops in your no well, on your pages on your pages right in your groups in your groups right so that's where you want to post tips on your topics but you also want to <coughs> you also also why am I putting an equal sign there dash okay also post other things it can't it can't be just about your topic because that's going to be that's going to be seen as spam it's going to be seen as you know people won't like that right so you got to be posting other stuff it's got to be and there's 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 uh there's other uh schools of thought if you will like the 80 20 rule the 90 10 rule you know where you're posting 80 percent of other stuff and then only 20 percent of your stuff right but when you're talking about a master class um you might be able to go up higher in percentage wise but the, and that's because it's not like trying to pitch them trying to sell them something you're just trying to you're just letting them know about your topic about the fact that you know about your topic right okay engage in other groups so so find groups groups that match your um your topic right find groups uh, uh, also um uh, audience that would be interested right so I mean like for example webinars making sales using webinars it's not just people that are already into webinars maybe right that probably in my case that might not be the best thing it might be better for me to go find entrepreneurial groups right people who are trying to sell things online course course maybe course authors because for me the course authors is my ultimate goal right I'm trying to attract people to my platform and they they need to be course creators to really want to use a platform like mine right and so maybe that's the place I want to start talking about webinars because they're going to be interested in doing webinars to sell their courses right or maybe they're going to be interested in doing a webinar to, to do a master class so that's the other thing so you want to find uh, people that would be interested that might be not exactly your topic but you go you go in those groups and engage you post you answer questions you you post questions and uh, try to do try to do create engagement right by doing that the platform is going to want is going to share your stuff that you're posting in your own group it's going to share your stuff that you're posting in other groups and things like that right so create your own group um place to invite people to right um <clears throat> where others where others where they can see they can see more about your topic right because I mean the thing is that in that group you really want to be posting about that topic all the time not necessarily about your personal stuff because your personal stuff goes on your profile or questions and, and answers goes into the other groups but this group is about the topic so that's where you really post about the topic right <clears throat> be consistent being consistent isn't just about spending a certain amount of time it's also about spending that same time every day so don't uh necessarily necessarily spend 
a ton of time it could it could be just five minutes a day a day as long as it's the same every day that's the most important thing is be the same every day it's not about spending a lot of time it's about being consistent with your time and number five the last the last one number five is have conversations <laughs> have conversations you gotta have conversations with people right you gotta engage you got and, and that's a direct one-on-one -on -one conversations you can do that with uh you know with with uh with your your chatting right so I mean for me I I try to have conversations with people and asking them questions about what they're what they're working on what they're interested in they have obviously they would be people that I have seen in um groups or if or or I'm friends with now that they've connected as a friend on Facebook or you know a connection in LinkedIn or a follower in, on Instagram or TikTok or Twitter you know other platforms right so you have conversations with them ask them questions tell them about something that you noticed on their page um be relatable so what does that mean I know that for me that's something that I kind of struggle with trying to figure out what does it mean to be relatable I know it sounds silly but sometimes when you're when you're not it's really just not your thing you don't I I do it automatically when I'm out in public I'm actually a person who's who's who does it really well <laughs> when I go to parties or things like that and I decide to talk to people I actually do it really well but when I'm online I'm like well what is it that I how does it work what do I do so being relatable is all about telling people about something asking them a question but then also telling them about you er, around that question you can't just ask them questions tell them hey how long have you been doing this or you know what business are you in or things like that how's your business going it can't be just questions because if you're just asking questions they're going to feel like you're questioning them like you're interrogating them they're not going to feel good about telling you because they're going to feel like it's a one-way street so being relatable means telling them hey you know what I've been doing this on this online thing for five years and I'm still struggling with x uh, I see that you're doing really good with that how how's that going for you right what is it that you what what was what's your secret uh, or maybe maybe it's more personal right so you see a picture of them out in Mexico saying oh my god I miss the travel so much right now with the COVID that's uh, so awesome so lucky of you to have been able to go to Mexico I last time I went on a trip was like two years ago when or, or four years ago whatever it is right uh went to Aruba and that was so awesome I wish I could go back when when did you when was this picture taken when did you go and that and that's just like a personal thing but you're telling them a bit about yourself at the same time that's being relatable that's how relate relationship works you got to be relatable and that's something that I've learned over time you know like for example I got a friend that's uh, that's uh, that's doing uh, courses and she's out in, with her family right now but she's away from her technology technology she just brought a, a simple laptop so she can't do really her work so I kind of remember all those things and when I have a conversation with her I say hey hope I'm I hope that the flights won't be canceled when you go back home and after the holidays and but you know take time with your family because I know she's with her family and you know all those things you, you got, be relatable right tell them about make them you, they got to feel that you care about them that's 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 the other secret right they got to feel that you care about them not about your agenda or what you're trying to sell right so that's the have conversation so those are the five things those are the five things that you can do for free to bring people to your master class now how does that work so after you've done all these things you do them regularly after you're having those conversations that's when you can say hey can I ask you a question um I'm actually doing this master class and I'm just wondering if you'd be interested in finding out more about it I can send I can send you information but if not that's fine so you can actually ask them that question after you've had conversations and they've seen you in groups and because you can't just message people blindly they're they're going to be like you're spamming them right so you have to have all this happen before and I know it's uh, it's kind of like 
I could I would say the word it sucks because that's that can take a while to get there right but that's really how you do it for free if you want to do ads there's a whole separate thing and maybe we're going to talk about that but but that's the five the top five ways to get people to join your master class you go through this and you'll get people that will be interested in actually finding out about it and if you do your landing page right you do an invitation right you do all that stuff right they're going to want to join your master class because they're going to be interested in your topic and they'll join your master class all right so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.